here's my vacuum setup that I do for vacuum casting. I have a little vacuum pump that I picked up from an HVAC contractor. He said it was too small for him, so he gave it to me. Um, here's a valve on here to release the pressure when we're done. And then I have it running over here with a little vacuum gauge on it. And if I'm doing vacuum to get rid of bubbles, I have this cooking pot that I put, I use this weather seal, a lip around the pot. And how I do it is I just, I plumb this into this piece of plexi. So you can see it comes out there. And I just put that. So I just put that right on top of the pot and I put what I need to be vacuumed inside the pot and uh, turn the pump on and it works. Now when I'm doing a vacuum assist casting, I take the same plexi and I put it upside down and then I have another piece of plexi that I drilled a hole through it. And on this, I put the same kind and down a piece of plexi. So that creates a seal in the bottom. And then I have this little piece of silicone rubber that I put on the plexi. I need to cast on top of here so the vacuum goes down through the bottom of my flask. And I'm going to pour one here in a few minutes. Here's my pewter melting and my Lee melting pot. And my flask burning out in my toaster oven. So what I'll do is I'll turn the vacuum pump on for a few seconds when I have my flask on the uh, silicone pad there and then pour the pewter from the uh, melting pot there and see if we can get a good cast. My flask, tin can. Visor, safety gloves, and I just lift up my melting pot to pour it and turn the vacuum on. It's probably going to take a little while because I had the flask heated up to almost the melting point of pewter. So I'm going to a little bit and then we'll be able to knock it out and see what we have. Okay, here it is with the tin can knocked off and the investment, some of it knocked out. I'm going to have to dig around in there to get the rest of the investment out. And this is just a big chunk of pewter. But it's amazing. I think this was a piece of my glue gun. Just a strand of the glue. And that thing came out. It looks like a piece of wire. It's amazing how much detail you can do with this.